we begin with breaking news that we have been tracking all day. President Joe Biden announced earlier today that he is dropping out of the 2024 race for president. The president says he believes it is in the best interest of his party and the country to end his campaign. The official statement was released on social media today. Biden saying he is focusing on the rest of his term and that he'll address the nation later this week. This decision follows weeks of speculation and mounting pressure within the Democratic Party following that first presidential debate. Before today, Biden appeared to remain steadfast on the campaign trail. You're going to drop out. What you going to do? Well, here's my answer. I am running and going to win again. Already the nation's oldest president, his debate performance did raise concerns over his ability to serve another four years. His statement today says he believes his decision is best for the Democratic Party. The president announced he is stepping aside on social media. He posted a letter addressed to my fellow Americans on X. Here it is. After highlighting some of his achievements as president, Mr. Biden went on to write, it has been the greatest honor of my life to serve as your president. And while it has been my intention to seek re-election, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. President Biden also posted that he will speak to the nation later this week in more detail about that decision. Since the president's debate performance against former President Trump, leaders within the Democratic Party have been calling on him to step aside in the race. 37 Democratic leaders across the nation called for the president to pass the torch. Here in Washington, we heard that call to withdraw from the race from Representative Marie Glusenkamp Perez and Representative Adam Smith. President Biden also posted on social media that he is putting his full support and endorsement behind his vice president, Kamala Harris, to be the nominee of the Democratic Party. He says making her his vice president was the best decision he's made. He's now calling on Democrats to rally around Harris and make her the nominee. Harris is seen as the party's natural successor. The 59-year-old is the only candidate who can tap into the Biden campaign war chest based on federal campaign finance rules. Even with the endorsement, she could face a challenge, though, from other Democrats, setting up a wide-open competition with just weeks before the Democratic National Convention kicks off in Chicago. Vice President Harris, though, says she does expect to earn and win the Democratic nomination. On social media, she thanked President Biden for his endorsement and decades of service. She went on to say she will do everything in her power to unite the Democratic Party to defeat Trump. With the president's endorsement, Kamala Harris finds herself with the potential opportunity to break even more barriers. Harris is the first woman, black person, or person of South Asian descent to serve as vice president. Should she win the nomination and in November, she would be the first woman to serve as president of the United States. Harris was widely seen as the favorite to replace Biden. An AP North poll conducted just last week found six in ten Democrats thought Harris would be a good job in the top spot. That's compared to two in ten against the and another two in ten who didn't know enough to decide. Former president and Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump quickly posted to his social media platform Truth Social today. It reads in part, Crooked Joe Biden was not fit to run for president and is certainly not fit to serve and never was. He goes on to say all those around him, including his doctor and the media, knew that he wasn't capable of being president and he wasn't. It comes from a series of posts on Truth Social criticizing the president. Today, Washington Democratic Chair Shasti Conrad called for Vice President Harris to lead the Democratic ticket. In a statement, she said, President Biden has led our nation with courage and historic success. She also writes, today I call on his delegates to support Vice President Kamala Harris to lead our party and our country. As the leader and steward of the Washington State Democratic Party, she says, I have listened to the overwhelming consensus of Democrats in Washington State who are excited to support Vice President Kamala Harris. Today's announcement puts an end to weeks of speculation about the future of Biden's candidacy for president. But now local candidates are questioning how Biden dropping out of the race will impact down ballot races. Como's Jeremy Harris has been getting reaction from Republican and Democratic leadership here in Washington and joins us now live. Jeremy. Yeah, the big unanswered question is how united will the Democrats be behind Kamala Harris being their nominee for president? What is clear is that the next few weeks are going to be a critical time for the Democrats now that President Biden is stepping away.
President Biden's announcement he's stepping aside as the Democratic candidate for president prompted immediate reaction from Washington leaders. Governor Inslee thanking the president for what he called a long record of accomplishments. And Democrat candidate for Governor Bob Ferguson saying Biden preserved and protected democracy. Ferguson also posting this photo of him with Kamala Harris, who may now take the top of the Democrat ticket. What are you hearing from candidates in the last few hours now that this decision has been made? You know, overall, I'm seeing a strong support for uh, for Vice President Harris to move into this role. Shasti Conrad is the chair of Washington State Democrats. I was overwhelmed with gratitude for President Biden, uh, both for his leadership, um, his career in public service, but also for making what I know was a very hard decision. Biden quitting this race at this point uh, is destabilizing to his party. And they can try to put a, a, a pretty face on it. But but the fact is, it, if this was going to happen, it probably should have happened six months ago. Jim Walsh, who leads Washington Republicans, criticized Biden's decision and Democrat leaders. Knowing everything that everybody knows about Joe Biden, they selected him to be the candidate. And to, to, to sort of change horses at this late point crossing the stream is uh, not good uh, for any cowboy. With the Democratic convention now weeks away, Biden's announcement is likely to have a major impact on races nationwide and here in Washington. And really, it's about making sure that we are all coalescing around our strongest nominee, and I believe that to be Vice President Kamala Harris. Luckily on our side, love him or hate him, we're pretty unified behind Donald Trump. Now, despite it being fairly late in the election cycle, the Democrats say they do have a process in place to deal with a last minute change like this ahead of their convention. The Democratic National Committee put out a statement today saying they will do that in an orderly and transparent process. Reporting live in Seattle, Jeremy Harris, Como News. Hopefully he gets his health up and can move on with his life. <laughs> Disbelief. I really thought he was going to disregard everyone's opinion and go forward. President Biden's announcement also garnering a lot of reaction from American voters nationwide and right here at home. From social media sites to coffee shops and parks, come with Karina Vargas, hit the street to talk to voters today. Karina, what are they telling you? Now, Michelle, there's a lot of talk about his decision, and now some are saying that this was the right choice for President Biden to drop out of the race, while others say that this will only give former President Trump the upper hand. Voters in downtown Seattle share their shock to President Biden dropping out of the race. I was just expecting Biden's going to keep going, but I guess somebody finally got in his ear and changed his mind. Well, I'm kind of glad he has. Because, you know, he's old, so he needs to move on. Everybody has been so quick on the draw to say step down, but not adhering to his accomplishments, what he's done for the country. Biden endorsed Vice President Kamala Harris as the Democratic presidential nominee, with many people in Seattle sharing a mixed reaction. Hearing that Biden is endorsing Kamala Harris, what do you think about that? No, I don't like that idea. I believe Kamala would be phenomenal and deserving, but I don't know if America's ready for that. Some tell me the election is getting closer and they worry if there will be enough time to make all the changes. It kind of uh, sets the Democratic Party back a little bit and gives Trump a, a major opportunity to, to win. And uh, we'll see. It's, it's not a lot of time to recoup, uh, to recover the ground they've lost. So uh, it might be hard for them to do that. And, um, you know, I think if the election were today, then Trump would win. A lot of people we spoke to share their uncertainty about what will happen next, but they say that they will be keeping an eye out to see who will be the Democratic nominee. But for now, reporting in Seattle, Karina Vargas, Como News. Karina, thank you. President Biden apparently made his decision while still isolating at his home in Delaware. It marks the fourth straight day of self-isolation after receiving a COVID diagnosis. According to a letter from his physician this morning, the president has taken an eighth dose of Paxlovid now and his COVID symptoms have, quote, improved significantly. The letter also states that Biden is still performing all of his presidential duties. Stay with us here on Como News for our coverage as it continues of President Biden's announcement that he is dropping out of the 2024 presidential race. We will continue to bring you reaction details and the latest on the air as well as online.